have arrived, where have we arrived? Here, on our left side, are we agreed? Like this is how organically, we, we were not over here, are we agreed with that? Like most people would start up on their legs, grab the foot and fall backwards for a foot lock. Okay, lots of stuff wrong with that. Nothing wrong with the photo finish. Like you take a photo now, there's nothing wrong with the, this, this. It's the rationale was wrong. How did I get here? Did I, I was winning up top, I knew that. And now I've fallen back to maybe the foot lock. Strike one. Strike two, I'm on the right side. So organically, you're gonna find yourself on the left side more often than not. So this is, we're gonna do a foot lock here called the high side foot lock. If it was over there, it would be the low side foot lock. We're gonna do three different foot locks. Actually, it's the same foot lock. It's just that his position is gonna change in his effort to get away. And I have to follow what I call follow the fish. I have to follow him so he can't get away. And that's gonna look like three different foot locks, but it's the same foot lock. Okay, so we all agreed that we're here. Okay. First thing I wanna do is upgrade my foot position from neutral, or from, sorry, from here to what? Inside. Inside. Now, do you notice that I can't do it here? There's no space for my foot. So I had to roll on my back to create the hole to thread the needle and come back. And that sounds like an obvious thing, but if we hadn't have done that triple drill, it, it would not have been obvious. People would be struggling. All right, so, so we are here, we've just um, kicked him at the guard, he's fallen down. We'll actually start on our legs in a minute, just to round that point home, but this is where we're starting. So on our back, thread the needle, go back, okay, got it? Now, I'm gonna do, one, two, three, four, five, six things. I'm gonna do five or six, six, maybe. Six things, and I should ignore him, and do all six, okay? But if he's your friend, you'll have to do one, and then not do it, because he'll tap. And then you do number two, and then not do it, because he'll tap. But in real life, you just ignore, you do all six. Got it? Okay, cool. Number one, I'm gonna straighten my right leg out. See my right leg on top? Like a sidekick. You see that's putting pressure on the inside of his knee? So the first thing you're gonna do is straighten like that, and he may or may not tap. Okay, all I'm doing for the first five parts is taking the slack out of the system. But some people, when you're t busy taking the slack out of the system, they're passing out, or their arms breaking, or their legs hurting. So one is psychic. Okay, then I'll back it off. Two, I'm going to lay down my left hand. See, see my right hand. See it's up high near his ankle. It, I can't. I'm telling you right now, I cannot get my hand any higher. That's as near to the end of the lever that I can get my wrist. Okay, now watch. My left hand come under my leg, on my thigh. See, under my leg, on my thigh, to make space to do this. Watch my right hand. Look, do you see how much extra? If I try to get it up here, there's so much friction and connection, but if I make space, look at that. That's a lot. So zip it to the wrist hits the our heel. Now our left hand, you're gonna come up and get a guillotine grip and pull it through a little bit like that, okay? So I can see my hands. Now, I just do the first part, or second part. First part was straighten my leg. Second part, my thumbs to my chin. I'm just taking the slack out, okay? Thumbs to my chin. Okay. Next part, shoulder back. Next part, elbow in. Next part, lift my hip. So you ignore them and do all of those. That's a basic foot lock. <laughs> okay. So what's the first thing we're going to do? I'm here. Roll to your back. Yeah, and improve my position to where? Feet inside. It's called feet inside. Okay. And now what am I going to do? <coughs> Side kick, then back it off because he's your friend. On your back. Now what do I do? Make space and. To the end, make space and to the end of the lever. Zip it up and now get the grip. See that? And now what? Thumbs to my chin and then what? Shoulder back and then what? Elbow in and then what? Lift my head. That's called basic foot lock. Now, 
and I don't want you to hurt his leg anymore. So we're here like this and we're crunching away. Now, he is going to roll the only way he can. He can't roll that way if you've got this position. If I've got this position, I don't know where he's going to go, but when I'm here, I'm sideways, he's only going to roll on that direction. Now, when he rolls that direction, I cannot keep my leg position. I might be like that. I've got to undo it and go to my knees. Watch, he rolls over. Stop there, Darren. I'm on my knees. And I'm doing it now. What do I do? Thumbs up, shoulder back, elbow in, drop my head. Right, now we keep rolling. What, what leg position am I in? Neutral. And then I do all the same things, which is where most people start to put lock. You see? They've opened the book halfway through. What the hell are they doing? It's idiots. I mean, lucky because otherwise I wouldn't have a job. So, so this is nothing wrong with this position. It just shouldn't be, in my view, or Hagen's view, or Riley Bodycom's view, or anyone. Is it shouldn't be the place you start. That's all. So I still do the same whole thing here, and then we keep going, and we're back there. So do you see? That, and this is something that's new for me this year. It was pretty exciting. I was all excited about this, learning this little thing. Um, my leg position's changed. It <laughs> doesn't take much to excite me. <laughs> but that's a really cool concept for me because the oldest, and I may have got it wrong, so there's always the possibility that I was wrong all along. So um, think about that. But what my understanding has always been is that once you get one of those feet positions, it stays there and you figure out how to make it work. Whereas the new thinking that I got this year was, no, this doesn't change. What changes is my feet position in reaction to what's happening, you know, with his movement. Uh, that was like, wow, yeah, that's really cool. So that was the coolest thing that I learned this year. Does that sound like my life's too boring? Maybe. Um, but I, I was really super excited about that. Dave Meyer was not because he wasn't getting it. <laughs> it's like, David, shut up. Don't contribute. Um, but me and Wiley had some good times. <laughs> Dave was trying to figure it out. So we're going to do that. Now, the one little tricky part, if there's any tricky part, is that when Darren rolls and we go over, if we stay in a ball, see the shape I'm in? If I go over onto my, you have to go to your head. Do you see I just went over there? You see my our hips are above my knees. I can't drop the hip. And we all know we're going to drop our hip. We've got to do shoulder back, elbow and drop the hip. So here's the only little tricky part that I found tricky. Like, I had to do it two or three times to figure it out. And that is this. As I'm rolling, I'm going to reach out with my chin. See, I'm extending. Extend, and then get on your head. And that way, my hips are in front of my knees, and I can drop my head. So you see that little, yep, kind of wasn't obvious straight away. But um, So as we roll, don't stay in a ball. Extend out, and then get to our knees. And then it's thumbs up, shoulder back, elbow in, drop the hip. And then we roll out the other side. We fix our feet position to neutral. And, and the elbow in part is really good because the floor is helping you and everything else is the same. See that? And then we keep going, catching him on our hook, re-threading the needle, and it never ends. It, it will end because I'm going to show you how to end it. But in theory, it won't end. It'll end up by the side of the road. Make sense? Or move that way a little bit. I want to give you the impression that we only do foot locks from the bottom. I don't, right? You can do them from on top. They're awesome on top. Um, but you just, I, I definitely want to leave with the impression that it's not necessarily the best way of quite falling backwards. That's what I wanted to um, drive home at that point. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying. On paper, it kind of doesn't make sense. You have a good position, it's risky, it's, it's risky. But of course, if you're the best guy on the planet at doing that, it's not risky, you know what I'm saying? What's risky for you and me is not risky for him because he's really awesome at it, you know? So it's risky for normal people. So I don't think, so what I'm saying, it's no great way to start do, doing it that way. You're starting doing a risky thing. That's not a great way to start anything, you know? You Because, uh, Risk takers. I like risk taking. Uh, I, I am a risk taker. Um, I encourage my boy to take risks. But I really, to be honest, I, I don't, to be, not honest, there's a shit thing, I'm always honest, but it's, what's the word, to be totally um, transparent. Um, 
I take risks that are like I is manageable. It's, it's like if, if, I'm not going to die if it, if it fails. I'm not going to lose everything if it fails. So it's very calculated. Right? I want risk. But I'm not stupid. You know, right? So I'll be I'll manage it. Um, and people who do that tend to do what better than people who are super risk taking who die um, or, or, or lose everything and people who take no risks well nothing amazing happens right so you got to get the, the sweet spot with risk right enough that uh, you know you expose yourself to some awesome things that other people don't have or, or don't achieve but not enough that you can't survive <laughs> uh, the process so there's that sweet spot of risk taking why am I talking about risk taking Oh, because all the backs are risk taking people. So if you're really good at it, the better you are, the more you can then, the more it's actually not a risk. It's, 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 a, it's a, you know, a thing that's not risk. Right? Okay, cool. Next one is uh, knee slice. I'm knee slicing through. He's trapped my leg. Pretty common. We all agree. Happens to us. Uh, if you're in half guard, he's got the arm milk, he's got everything his little heart wants. Okay, you just stand up and then you'll be in court. It doesn't occur to people to do that sometimes, which is strange. Because if people, people want to stay down here and pass the guard. But if he's holding me there, but I just do that, you're gonna, you can all, almost always upgrade from half guard to quarter guard simply by standing up and then going back down. Now, when I'm here, hands on the ground, back step, knee pinch, grab his bottom leg. And what have I done? Number three. Control both legs. And then you put lock in. Now, the only thing about this tonight is when you're here and I back step on down there and do this, if his, if his bottom leg, his right foot, is behind the left foot here, the answer's heel hook. And I don't want to do heel hook. Because uh, the answer is, thanks Darren, I'll just take that and I'll start you got to heal with you. But that's not the topic. So, I, I want you, when I back step, yeah, thank you. I just want access to this foot tonight. Okay, so that I can say thank you. So if I take the far foot, we stick on the topic, which is outside foot lock. Is that making sense? So if the guy's like that, well, all I'm saying is don't do that. But if he was, it would be, he'll hook him. Um, or, I guess we could say, peel that one, then grab that one, and then grab that. Because I want that leg over there, so I could outside foot lock in. Because that's legal. 